Hey, welcome back. Let's talk about Smart Feasibility Calculator and what it can and cannot do. So first off, it can do everything that One Minute FISO does, but it can do a lot more than what One Minute FISO does. So let's look at what are the different things that it can and cannot do. So residential and mixed use developments, possible, no problem at all. Um, one Minute FISO, as I said, was designed to do everything under a minute, give you everything, all the results. So I don't have a separate section for you to be able to put in commercial and residential units that you are developing. Whereas, as I said, a smart feasibility calculator, everything builds on one minute phase. So smart feasibility calculator, you got an option. You can do mixed use development, you can do residential, commercial, all of that. We use two different methods to calculate revenue. Um, uh, the, there are different methods, a, a square meter rate or a square feet rate um, or a per unit rate. Uh, then we have two different methods to calculate your construction costs as well uh, in that. It also has uh, a funding table in there. Now I'll explain the concept of funding table in a second um, uh, when I show you um, Smart Feasibility Calculator. Um, and you can account for other income in there. You can refinance your land loan into a construction loan. You can add your tax liability. And Smart Feasibility Calculator essentially is, uh, is best for any kind of uh, small to boutique develop or boutique developments like two townhouses, 12 townhouses, up until I've actually used it on projects which had 12 townhouses in them, and which is not a small development. It was, uh, you know, if I combine all the GRV for all the all the units that I developed, it was about $38 million development. However, um, uh, you need to, but the project started and finished within a 12 month period. Uh, we bought the site with plans and permit already in place. Uh, we developed, sold, um, and, and finished the project, um, in 12 months. So this is what, this is what smart feasibility calculator can actually do for you. So let's look at this. So it only has two different tabs. Um, you can put in the details, you can change your GST to WAT. You can change the percentage of that. You can change your your currency symbol to pound, euro, whatever you want to use uh, from meter square to square feet. You can change all those things. Um, and if you if you come in here, you've got two different methods to calculate your sales. Uh, you've got your commercial and, and a capitalization method in there. So let's say you're developing a, um, a mixed use development where the bottom floor is all the retail and then you are putting four apartments on the top. So um, um, you don't really need to, to you know, um, go into that much detail in order to do that. Then you've got all your main heads where you can put in any detail. You can put in a number if you want, or you can add it as a percentage. So um, they both have all these, um, um, all these options, uh, like all the cost heads have these options where you can put in a per unit rate, manually enter that value or you can add it as a percentage of construction costs or percentage of the land or percentage of the GRV which is the gross realization value in UK people call it GDV um, I recently discussed this with somebody from UK and um, it has everything that they need and um, in the future versions there would be one more sensitivity table that I'll be adding for the UK market which would have um, a sensitivity analysis for uh, development margin on revenue because in UK most people go with the developer margin on revenue whereas I've seen that people in US and you in, in Australia where I am from uh, usually the developer margin uh, that people look at is on the cost so it's just a different metric but we already have developer margin on revenue and developer margin on cost uh, right here. It's just that there's a sensitivity table that's coming up in the next up, uh, next version upgrade and there will be a sensitivity table for uh, developer margin on revenue as well. So it's one page. Um, the first page is basically just set up details and you put in the land acquisition cost and, and the number of units that you are developing. And over here it has everything fits into one page and it's super powerful now i wanted to talk about the funding table and the concept with the funding table is that there are total development costs that means everything that you spend in order to get to to finish that development it could include uh, any stand beauty that you paid or any property taxes that you might have paid or um uh, you might have paid to certain consultants to get some preliminary due diligence, all those things. 
but your lender may not consider them as part of the total development cost because they might consider only hard costs. So there's a difference between hard, hard costs and soft costs. What this allows you to do is to be able to determine the developer's equity based on the total development costs, even the, the cost that your, your lender may not consider to be part of the project. So I won't go into that much detail because this is just to give you um, the level of details. It, it's already in there um, and have been taken care of and thought of for you in advance. So. Uh, it comes with full training uh, with it. You can you can go through the training. Uh, every section is is uh, explained um, uh, in a video training uh, to understand what it is and what uh, what are the numbers that you need to put in there um, and how you come up with those numbers. Um, and it also has an option where you bought a block of land and you are going to hold it for nine months. By the time you go and get your permit or your development approval and during that time, you're going to rent it out so you can allow for uh, and account for that income that's coming from that rent and then refinance the first loan that you have on the property into a construction loan. So it, it is already in there. It's already thought of um, and it is the easiest to get get up and running with. So and, and the developments, there are different developments. It has all the sensitivity analysis and everything. So that's smart feasibility calculator in a nutshell. And we will talk about lead developer in our next video. Thank you.